In order for chemical reactions to occur, electrons must flow from one place to another, making and or breaking chemical bonds. But electrons don't just move whenever they want. Chemical reactions can only occur under a precise set of conditions. For a chemical reaction between two molecules to occur, number one, the reacting molecules must physically hit or collide with one another. Two, the reacting molecules must collide with sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the attractive forces that hold a particular electron pair in place. And three, the molecules must collide in the proper orientation so that any newly forming bonds can be made. These three tenets are the basis of collision theory, which describes the basic principles of how chemical reactions occur. Let's see how this works with a simple acid-base reaction between hydrochloric acid, HCl, and ammonia, NH3, which produces the ammonium ion, NH4+, and the chloride ion, Cl-. In order for the reaction to happen, an HCl molecule must literally collide with an NH3 molecule so that a new NH bond is formed. This means that the nitrogen of ammonia needs to bump the hydrogen of HCl and not the other way around and the two molecules need to collide with sufficient energy to break the bond between hydrogen and chlorine. We call this uh, sufficient energy the activation energy of the reaction. If the two molecules collide but weakly, boop, they just bump into each other and no bonds are made or broken. Because there's a minimum kinetic energy that's required for a collision to lead to a chemical reaction, it follows that not every collision between two molecules results in a reaction. If two slow-moving molecules collide, even if they're in the correct orientation, they probably won't react. But if they're moving faster, that is, they have higher kinetic energy, they're more likely to react. This illustrates why temperature is an important factor in chemical reactivity. The hotter a substance is, the faster its molecules are moving, the higher their kinetic energy, and the more likely they are to collide with sufficient energy to overcome the activation energy barrier. Temperature is a reflection of the average kinetic energy of a sample of molecules, so in a given sample, say a mole, of molecules at a particular temperature, T1, the kinetic energies are spread out. Some molecules have relatively low kinetic energy, while others have higher kinetic energy. It's the molecules with the highest kinetic energy that are most likely to surmount the activation energy barrier and undergo a reaction. As the temperature of a sample increases, the proportion of molecules that have enough kinetic energy to react also increases. So the chemical, re so chemical reactions proceed more readily and rapidly at higher temperatures.